Hey everybody, it's Harland. Welcome to this week's podcast. Uh, Before we get started, I just want to mention, look at this, my brand new book is out. It's called Journeys and it's a collection of short stories that I've written. And uh, I think you'll find them very compelling stories about uh, various people and their journeys through this crazy mixed up thing we call life. Uh, please go ahead and check it out. It's at uh, Amazon.com. Just go to Amazon.com, type in Journeys by Harlan Williams, and you can get a hard copy like this mailed directly to your house or home or trailer or bridge, or you can get a digital version um, and uh, just download it and read away. Um, today's guest on the show, Will Sasso, and again, just to remind you guys I'm still doing all this stuff by myself and every now and then I have little glitches so bad news good news the first like 10 minutes of the podcast I forgot to hit the stereo sound button so you can hear it but it's not as crisp as it is right now but then about 10 minutes in I looked down at my control panel and realized so I hit record And the majority of the podcast is in perfect crystal clear stereo sound. It's just about the first 10 minutes uh, won't sound as nice. But hang in there. Uh, It's worth it. And uh, Will's a great guest. We had a great time. And uh, that's it. Pick up journeys. And let's go on a journey right now, right down the Harland Highway. You're riding down the Harland Highway. Uh, the closest I came to an extraterrestrial encounter is I made crop circles once. How'd you do that? I went, I was out kind of in the country. I was in Arkansas, like in corn country. Yeah. And I'd always wanted to make crop circles. And I went to Walmart and I got a chocolate fudgy cake for like four ninety nine, like one of those big triple layer ones. Yeah. Well, if you're going to laugh. <laughs> no, I'm laughing with you about the chocolate fudgy cake. And I went out into the country and I held it up and I just yelled, chocolate cake, chocolate. And three like fat farm girls came out. Okay. And I threw the thing in a field. Yeah. And these fat girls, they just, made, they they just made rolled the crop circles. Yeah. See? Unbelievable. That's, this is like sort of a, like one of those Unsolved Mysteries podcasts yeah. where we get to the bottom of all sorts of shit like yeah. crop circles. Yeah. How do you do it? Just drive to a country ass town. Everyone has one of those fudgy cakes. Yeah. You ever heard of fudgy store. cake? Oh yeah. I've, I've Why do they call fudgy, them cake. fudgy cakes? I've actually never heard them referred to as fudgy cakes. You're the first person that's ever said that. What? Ever to you? Fudgy cake? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, fudgy is a fun word to say. I've heard the word fudgy. Yeah. But cake is usually just fudge cake. What Way mean? more serious a term than UFO. What do you mean it's a fun word? Like, fudgy. If you're at a party, you're going to like crack a, it out? I, it's just a cute... I would name like a kid or a pet fudgy or something. you name your kid cute. fudgy? Hey, fudgy. <laughs> yeah. Fudgy Sasso. Fudgy Sasso Jr. for the what? fuck of it. Fudgy Sasso. A fudgy. kid and a dessert at yeah. the same time. Yeah. That sounds like the kind of kid, if you left him out in the driveway during a heat wave, he'd like melt or something. <laughs> My kid probably would, yeah. Wow. Sasso. I like that name. Thank you. It's, it's, uh, it's Italian. It's my right? last name. Yes, yeah. it is Italian, yes. But it's one of those names, like sometimes you hear like actors and, and people who become famous, you just like that name fits. It works. Oh. Like Will Sasso. It just... You gotta, you gotta love yourself. Huh? Cheers, cheers. I, like, like really love the shit out of myself. Like when you get naked at night before you jump into bed, you just stand in the mirror and go, "I'm Will Sasso." Uh, for a second or two, I go like, like doing better than I would think when I look at myself when clothed. I go, "You're not, you're not so bad." Yeah. But then, yeah, every once in a while, you just you, the the way to do that though is to walk past the mirror and then look back in and oh, go, "Oh yeah." I will say it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how you really say it. Oh, dude! Yeah. Wow. Do you yeah. you look like a bathrobe guy to me? Do you have a bathrobe? No, because I'm a larger dude. It's always yeah. hard to. Although I could, I'm sure I could uh, get a larger one for my home. I I anytime I'm in a hotel or something, 
I I just walk right past the bathrobe in the closet. No way, it's good. it's never fits. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just a big I'm just a big uh, fudgy kind of guy. <laughs> isn't isn't a bathrobe sort of a personal like garment? Yes, like, it's you, very do, personal. Do you want to go into a hotel and wear a bathrobe that the last guy was in? That's a really good point. Although yeah. you do use towels that other people have used yeah. and sleep in sheets. The bathrobe still is like I'm putting on someone else's house coat. That's Someone's filthy that they just right. sat around in, in the and nude, smoked cigarettes. Because you're usually nude. Underneath. And, and I don't think the hotels wash the bathrobe after every visit, but they probably wash the towel. Well, sure they wash the bathrobe. Do you think so? Well, I think that's why they're made of terry cloth. They're very easy to wash. Oh. But still, you know yeah. that someone's died in one of those. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not... The bathrobes, they pick them up from other hotels. Our hotel's closing. Why? Everybody died in the bathrobes. Bathrobe. Can we buy them? You can have them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. What do you want to be buried in? Like, and I hate to talk about, you know, mortality, but you, you kind of goaded me into it. I did, with, I know. With I the bathrobe yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. When you're laying in that coffin <laughs> with your coffin. arms... Coffin. Huh? What I want to be buried? Wait a minute. What do I want to be buried in? Like, what, what do you want to be wearing? Oh, I thought, so coffin... <laughs> You, it, this is a coffin. Yeah, you're. It's a, it's question. the viewing. Yeah, it's at your. I'm at your funeral. Yeah, hitting on your what? I, I'm, I'm yeah. viewing the body. <laughs> yeah. And all of a sudden, I look down, and what do you want to be wearing in Will Sasso? Ah, man, that's a good question. That's a really good question. That's a really good question. I have a shirt that I like to wear called the World's Greatest Shirt. And uh, it's, I'm a little bit chubby for it right now, but yeah. I still have it. Yeah. So i got to lose a little weight and get into the world's greatest shirt. Perhaps if I was sick, I'd fit into the world's greatest shirt. Well, let's not rule out when you you know, when you go to the mortician and he starts sucking oh, he can all pull your insides. Some, he right. can take a little extra beef. So world's greatest shirt. And uh, I don't know, probably a pair of like, um, like, uh, like, uh, old like 90s like how about some seattle C, uh, seattle uh sonics uh like basketball shorts you or love something. shorts huh yeah i love to you wear shorts i'm wearing them shorts. right now yeah i know you live for them yeah and then uh probably house rope uh over that and that's it what about you wait before we move on do your legs get stuffy like why, why yeah. do you always have you, you well um you know we're we're canadian guys yeah and originally canadian you're from toronto toronto right? you're yeah. from toronto proper like the city yeah, this, that's the great suburbs yeah oh that's fucking you're wonderful. from british columbia i'm from yeah the suburbs of vancouver yeah um do you notice that there's a lot of like just dudes in shorts at all times of the year in Canada? In Canada, yeah. yeah. It's just, especially like right when the last snow is melting. Yeah. Shorts on. My fiance likes to call them real Canadian shorts boys. Oh. And she calls me a real Canadian shorts boy. Yeah. She's like, oh, you're a real Canadian shorts boy. And uh, in Canada, and, and then it's great, like uh, the first time, well, the first time she came to Canada with me, it was summer, but the when we were there in the winter, yeah. she, her mind was blown. It was like, oh, there's, a, there's one, there's another one. Shorts. Yeah, just big, hulking, six foot plus, yeah. 300 pound guys walking next to the freeway in shorts. Oh, next holding, to the freeway? Yeah, holding like Petro Canada shopping bags <laughs> yeah, and shit. Yeah. yeah, just like, oh, he's gonna walk oh, for seven fucking miles yeah. and, and eat those, you know, what do we got there? The, the fucking, well, we got the same things we have here. Although, no, we have the old Dutch chips and coffee crisp. He's yeah. just got bags of yeah. coffee crisp and and they like that they like to look around on the on the banks of the highway for like Dairy Queen coupons. For Dairy yeah. Queen coupons. Which, and in, in Canada there's yeah. always the Dairy Queens are all next to the highway. Yeah. Because obviously. Yeah, the diarrhea. And then yeah, the yeah. diarrhea. Yeah. And then uh, well, you know if you're Canadian, yeah. you understand the diarrhea. Yeah. yeah. So you gotta have the Dairy Queen next to the freeway. So yeah. yeah, so they're just walking from Dairy Queen DQ to DQ all day. Real Canadian shorts boy stuff. Bizarre stuff. Yeah. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, we're here on the Harlan Highway. <laughs> I couldn't wait to, you know, normally I just introduce, yeah. like, the Harlan Highway podcast, and we hit the theme music, but it's like Will Sasso's here, and I had to get into your name, and we just, you know, right away. There's a cold open. Yeah, we, we kind of cir circumnavigated the cold open, and we, it was an extended opening. Yeah. You like the theme music? I do. Guess who it is? 
Are they Canadian? No. So it's not the real Canadian shows? They look Canadian. Oh, they look Canadian. Oh, give me a hint. Uh, Speed. They're on the soundtrack for Speed. No. The name Speed's in their name. The word Speed's in their name. Scott Speedman and Scott Speedsman All-Stars? Uh, Speed... Uh, uh, speed speed racer speed speed go speed racer speed speed do some speed those guys do some speed they probably have yeah that's not I, I don't know I give up if they were kids they'd have a wagon oh red racer red the the punks the punkos the fudgies the fudgy boys the real Canadian fudgy shorts the speed if they were in Brazil they'd go to Rio. Durant, Durant, Duran, two Durans. Guy. The Durans. Guy, put the three words together. Speed, Rio. And the kid's toy. Uh, wagon. Ario Speedwagon? Hello. <laughs> wow, yeah. Ario well, Speedwagon. I gave you all three words and you. Oh man, I, I well, would, yeah, I would lose. I would definitely lose at Ario Speedwagon Jeopardy. Yeah. Did you like them? I feel like you're the kind of guy that lost your virginity to them. Like to their music. Yeah. Not to them. Yeah. No, not oh. personally. Uh, yeah. Something like that, right? Trooper. Trooper April yeah, Wine. April Wine. Deep Purple or something. Yeah. So Do you remember something. who you lost your virginity to? What, what, what band? What song? Uh, I don't know. The time period would have would have dictated that it was... Uh, you know, maybe not not Belle Biv DeVoe, but like Belle Biv DeVoe or okay, let's say Belle Biv DeVoe. Dildo? No, Belle Dildo. No, no, Belle Biv. You lost your virginity to a dildo? Or like I don't know who who <laughs> uh, Dido. Dido. I lost my dildo virginity yeah, like dildo. with a dildo yeah. to Dido. Dido. And I want to thank you for giving me the best day of my life. Quieter. Yeah. Uh, She's a very quiet singer. I lost mine to quiet singer on Chicago. If oh, you wow. Me now, really? You take away the, the girl I was losing my virginity, it was weird. She was suicidal. And she was like, this is my last night on, no. on Earth, so it might as well be you. And we did it, and that song was playing, and then she went to the, the bathroom and got in, put her through a cold bath and straight razored herself. And huh. Well, everyone's got to lose their virginity, guy. That's not what I was... Wait a minute. So, you did, I mean, was there at some point... I mean, I'm, I'm sure you've been through this, and that's why you're... you're sort of react or when you think of it you probably are a little more relaxed at, yeah uh, it's been a lot of years um but you didn't think to go like oh hey you're you're i can tell you're not feeling great you're in trouble maybe let's it was sort of like that but i was more in the headspace of oh my god i'm getting laid yeah but you could have gone to dairy queen well, first and then yeah. if she needed to do Look, everyone has their own form of foreplay. Who are we to judge, right? That's yeah, right. there's some freaky, yeah. freaky fudgies out there. Yeah, so. Yeah. Hey, I brought you something. Oh my God, what do we got? I got you a t-shirt oh, from uh, Ooh. my new podcast. What is it, Dudesy? It's called Dudesy. <laughs> tell me, tell me about your podcast. It is the first ever podcast that is run by, curated by, and... Uh, Essentially ordered by uh, artificial intelligence. We they what? The artificial intelligence tells me and my good pal Chad Colchin what to do, or my pal Chow. Really? As I like to call him. Yeah. How does that work? Like we were approached by a very weird company that's like, we want to. Uh, we're moving into a podcast space. We have an AI that is going to essentially, you know, curate podcasts, tell us what to do, and the only caveat was that myself and Chad gave it a bunch of passwords to like everything pretty much email text it has our search histories purchase histories and all this stuff yeah and it essentially creates a show around the fact that chad and i are both guys who've done pat podcasts before yeah we did a podcast together and we've actually been great friends for like 20 years so wow. so it was the perfect kind of the the, the ai itself found yeah. us and now 
uh, so we signed on to do this thing and we've been doing it for a few months and yeah, it's called dudesy. It's very weird. Wow. Look at this dudesy. Will Sasso's brand new podcast. Yeah. And the AI is, is, is weird. Sometimes it writes stuff for us to say. And most times it just, you know, uh, it'll, it'll like provide a thing. Like it'll go like, Hey, here's your childhood diary. And it's not really yeah. my childhood diary. And you read it out and do a silly impression. And then you do it while you read it. And other times it's like, talk about this. Now talk about that. And I'll it stop. tells you what to, what yeah. the topics are. It tells us what to do and what to talk about. But obviously it's a humor based cause you're, you're yeah, a comedy it, it's, guy. It's largely humor based. Is the AI, can AI be funny, Will? Well, that's what we're learning. Uh, originally, I was like, absolutely not. But right. a lot of the stuff does make me chuckle. And it does? It's, well, it, Chad is a, he's a, you know, a writer and a producer and writes yeah. books and movies and TV shows. So it's also sort of, it's pilfered everything that we've done in podcasts and it's, you know, like imbibed all of his media, all of mine. And it's sort of learned, like, this is tailor-made for Will Sasso and Chad Culchin. I'll give you an example. Like, yeah. it goes, like, podcasts about news or big business, blah, blah, blah. Like, Will, you won't stop doing your Hulk Hogan impersonation or whatever. This is a news, it's, a, it's like a news segment with Hulk Hogan reading the news. This is yeah. infomania. And then it sort of generates these news stories that are a little little off like yeah. you know with ai things are a little yeah off. so it doesn't go creepy. straight at the news it sort of is set to like maybe it i don't know it's it's it, it it's very weird it like hits certain news things and then very weird things and takes swings at comedy but really? you're like going oh let me tell you something dude and it's like ends up being kind of silly and fun yeah so we're laughing yeah it's very weird this is kind of cool because this is like probably no one else in the world has a podcast that does that. It's the first and only and it's, at this point. It's kind of weird because this is where we're going, right? Yeah. It's sort of... It's so cool in a way we're, weird. In a way, we're kind of the guinea pigs in an odd sense in that, you know, I think that most of AI is trying to replace us in art. You're seeing all these, you know, now you're seeing all the, the art applications and pretty soon it's going to be video and moving pictures. Yeah. And, you're going to be able to, as my pal Chad says, like order up whatever. Like I want to see that. I mean, they're they're doing one with you know whatever they're doing. You know, you see like oh here's Bruce Willis in uh, in a Russian you know breakfast cereal commercial or whatever. Right. Well, they've done that with deep fake and all yeah, this stuff. But pretty him. soon you're going to be able to go. I want to see, you know, I want to see Will and Harland in uh, fucking what was that movie? Starts with, with uh, I'll give you a hint. Speed, 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 and uh, yeah. So like you play speed the wagon. thing and you play this character, and and then it would be you and I as Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock. Uh, <laughs> that's coming. That's yeah. coming. So in a way, I feel weird because it it seems like we're the first guys who are going. Yeah, learn all this shit from us. Learn how to do podcasting, yeah, yeah. and then you're going to turn on us and do it without us. But right. I maintain that you can't have art without the human mind and that's what connects us all. And you know, that's what makes comedy or any other form of expression relevant is the connection from people to people who like what you do. So I'm not too worried about it, but, but I, is it scary that it, because AI artificial intelligence, it learns, it learns as it goes. Yeah. It isn't like applications you have now where you just run it and it has limitations. So what if it starts to learn how to eliminate the connection between humans and, you know, artificial intelligence can be now having humor and conversations with another form of artificial intelligence. Yes. I, do you worry that it'll squeeze us, us human folk right out the picture now, son? <laughs> uh, yeah, kind of, like kind of. It but, will. I think it's <coughs> going to. I don't know about you, but I've, all, I've often mused with our mutual pal Tom Green about, and he's kind of done it. Yeah. Like, I just want to go up to Canada and, you know, get some land over an aquifer and yeah. forget it. Yeah, yeah. So I don't want to be a prick and say, well, yeah, fuck it. I'm, I'm going to be gone anyway, you know, because I would love to continue to work in this business, obviously, and rah, rah, rah. I'm not so worried about AI taking us over, though. I'm really not. You're not. Not in comedy and in art or of any, of any, uh, of any genre or form, uh, I'm not. Because I, I think that just because you can say, I want to see, 
I don't know. We're watching White Lotus right now. It's a great fucking yeah, show. Yeah, I'm and watching you, it too. Isn't it great? Yeah. Oh my god, it's so great. I want to watch White Lotus, but are you really watching it? No, we did. I, I am, but we just sounded like two housewives out for tea. Yeah. Oh my god, are you watching, oh my god, White, I'm Lotus? watching White Lotus? Oh my god, too, it's yeah. so great. Um, oh my god! But you're like, I want to see. I want to see. You know, the, instead of this character, I want to see that person playing it. Or yeah. You know, um, I think I'm going to say this guy, and you know, I respect you till Saturday night turns into Thursday morning. Likewise, I think uh, I think you're being naive. I think this shit's going to take over so big it's going to roll over us like Dolly Parton's uh, Hooters are lie in the morning when she, you know, when she rolls over right down the Smoky Mountains. Yeah, to entertain the kids. Right, they come to Dollywood. Dolly, I th- I think I think this stuff like. We're kind of looking at it in a limited perspective because we don't know the full capability of it yet. Right. But I think someday, I think I think AI is going to generate celebrities. It's going to like Absolutely. Bruce Willis was real, but they're going to take components and create eyes and a hologram. There's, they're going to make the future celebrities. There's already AI artists. There's already AI influencers. There was an AI. That was, uh, that had a, um, there was an AI uh, musician, a hip hop artist that Whoa. people got involved. Like, wait a minute, that's a little weird because who's making that? Is yeah. it literally what are they, are they, are, are they people in the hip hop community? I mean, this is something you could say that's, AI that could is be everywhere. an appropriation, right? Yes, it's very weird. And AI has no, has no identity. But there are people at this point who are starting companies like the one that came to us. And I, I am fearful of it, but I, like I like to say on the show, I say, whatever, Chad, it's dudesy, rah, rah, rah. But really, it's just two dudes shitting around because that's every podcast. Yeah. Case in point. Yeah. Um, we're fucking around. And, and if people know that it's just an AI, there's no human. I mean, right now, it's a fun, hopefully, chocolate and peanut butter thing where- yeah. You guys do this and that, and it's like, shit, I don't want to do, shit, I would have never thought to do, stuff that's kind of a little embarrassing, but it's fun, I, yeah. I and I'm really enjoying doing it, Wow! and I didn't want to really do another podcast, and this yeah. has reinvigorated my passion for podcasts, if, if, I, if I may. Yeah. So it's like, I, I still think that it's vital for it to be people having a good time, because a podcast is supposed to just be yeah. a fucking hang. Yeah, you know? that's true. Yeah, so I'm not worried wow. about it, but... I'm not worried about. I'm not worried about it, provided that I can go up to. Ooh, so yeah, there. Guy gets thirsty you hearing did, all this. No, AI I know, but talk, you've done. Bro. Yeah, you've done thousands of hours of podcasting, and and I just no, it's nothing. It's all right. Oh, so you know the I important point that I was you. making. Sip, no, sip I understand. Guy. <laughs> you're thirsty. Oh, you got to wet the whistle when you're doing a podcast. I know, but you acted like it. you saw a ghost or something. Well, I didn't. I'm just I'm sorry, you shocked me a little bit. Oh, I thought God. you had a watery fucking, you know, a little, a little fudgy slip and slide. Oh my! I didn't want you to fall off your to, chair. No, I just it's like I, if I'm gonna sip, I'm gonna sip. Okay, all right. I want to go out strong. So as I was saying, one of the most important things to remember now. <laughs> I mean, I completely sorry. lost my train of thought. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, podcasts, eh? Yeah, but let's go back to the Canadian because, you know, the Canadian thing, what's one of the things that everyone says to you when they find out you're Canadian? What's one of the common things? Oh, you guys are all so... Well, we're all so nice. We're all so polite. It's right. a nice thing, which I always like to respond to that with. First of all, you don't know what kind of an asshole I am. And yeah. also, there are so many assholes in Canada. Give me a break. Well, I think it's incumbent on me and you because, you know, when you're nice, it's great. It's a great compliment. But it's also like sometimes people take advantage of nice and sometimes it kind of, you're kind of putting a message out there saying Canadians can't throw down. Oh, Yeah. And so what I'd like to do throughout this podcast, Will, if you'll indulge me. Just punch me in the face as no, hard as you can. No, I think you and I, we're going to have three mini Canadian fights. Okay. And they'll just be verbal. And what we'll do is, you know, we'll start them. They'll just be verbal to show that we can throw down. As Canadians. Uh, or just as, just as people. Okay. And... I'll start the first one, and what I'll and, and then when it's when I feel it's over, I'll hit this. Okay. 
And the first fight's going to be, I'm at Starbucks, and you're the guy in front of me that can't make up his mind and is holding up the line, and I'm in a rush. And we're going to eventually get into it and yeah. make a bit of a scene it's, for we're, all the we're other gonna, we're gonna t- We're going to rip into each <coughs> other, guy. Okay. Like we're going to show the folks watching the Canadians can throw down. Okay. Um, hi. Can I have the... Uh, I'll just have a Pike Place Market oh. Venti with uh, no Pike Place. Okay, give me an Americano. Oh. Uh, can I do uh, hot Americano? Excuse me. Yes. Do you, can you speed this up a, a bit, guy? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just. Well, no. I'm just trying to order my drink. You should be sorry. I'm trying to get to work. I got two kids in the car, and you're standing here at Starbucks. Well, the longer we talk about it, we, the longer that it's going to take me to order the drink. Would you like to go ahead of me? Well, I've already been here 10 minutes. Well, then I guess I'll just finish ordering. Well, what, do you need another 10? I mean, you're standing here in your Ross dress for less pajamas or what? Oh, sure, it's funny, is it, guy? I got two kids in the car, and you can't make your mind up. Well, do you want to get back to your kids? It's 105 degrees out here. Well, maybe they've already passed on to the next dimension because you need some peppermint on your uh, I didn't ask for peppermint. Excuse me. I wasn't asking for peppermint. Cinnamon, peppermint, okay. I didn't ask for any any, some sort of drink. I didn't want any kind of uh, peppermint or anything in my drink. I was going to order a straight-ahead Americano with a little bit of oat milk and four pumps of sugar-free vanilla. Yeah, you just made my point for me johnny laundry list now hey. come on blue eyes let's get the fucking cinnamon or the nutmeg or whatever you need to do i got kids hey, let me boiling tell you in so- the car let me tell you something yeah jackson good for a good time you you look like the kind of guy who takes no it doesn't uh, doesn't it takes no pleasure in uh ordering the finer things in a drink what are you gonna have coffee black you gonna give that to the kids and let them drive are you having trouble talking because i'm hearing a lot of stuttering over there and uh yes, considering looking have, at you you probably graduated from devry for fuck's sake guy it's the jobs of tomorrow today and i'll have you know that i did get over a stutter last week it was my last last day at stutter school fuck off <laughs> That was a good one. That was a good one. I think we could fight. I think that we're gnarly dudes. We could be, even though we're Canadian, yeah. we could get out there and. Well, the next f- Canadian mini fight, you'll pick the topic in a little bit. When okay. We get, you know, yeah, we're yeah, going to yeah, do yeah. three. That was the Starbucks angry guy waiting in line. Those guys weren't that angry. They, yeah, I think. They, that was kind of the, but, but that was two Canadian guys. Yeah. So later on, you'll pick the next one. But they were two Canadian guys like living in America. Yeah. Living so in they're, America. Uh, they're like, they're like pretty uh, hard charging for Canadians. Oh, maybe, maybe I was one. Maybe I was the Canadian guy, and you were the American guy. That's oh, what it was. Now the next one. The next one will be a Canadian guy <coughs> with an American guy again, because we got to show. I'll be the Canadian next time. Next time, you be the American. Okay. Yeah. Um, we got to talk about this, bro, Sefiash. <laughs> because. Yeah. Well, if you're gonna laugh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna laugh. Uh, we worked with two of the funniest directors in showbiz, the Farrelly brothers. The Farrelly brothers. Oh my god! And gosh. I don't think you know this, but you, Will was the uh, one of the stars of the Three Stooges. You played Curly, dude. Yeah, I did. Was that just the dream? It the, was goofy. Yes, it was a fucking. It was a dream. It you was know, crazy. You know, I was almost. I, well, I shouldn't say almost. I auditioned for that movie. Yeah. And, you know, I have a bit of a history with the Farrelly yeah. brothers. And so um, when I heard Three Stooges was coming to town, I thought Larry. I, I could yeah. do Larry's because I kind of got the bumpy nose yeah. and, the, and the big forehead and everything. And it was one of those. I don't know if you had to do this for your audition or whether they just offered it to no, you. No, no, I auditioned. But did you have to do this? It was the only audition I've ever done since I've been here where they made us like dress up and and kind of do the whole yeah did you do that too well kind of the first oh. the, the thing is i already look like them yeah yeah so yeah. um i know that i don't know what Sean Hayes did who ended up playing Larry yeah. i know that Christian Montopoulos, who played Mo went to great lengths to look like oh, him he's Ted like Ringer. he's like a a guy he's a fit guy but he was wearing like a like a, a fat suit so he could look like a fire hydrant like Mo and he had yeah. the hair and he his prosthetics were more his makeup which he went and got done professionally by I'm sure some you know Oh he did great, yeah okay it ended up being more Mo than they went in the movie. 
And oh, we're wow. like, well, we just want it to be you guys and you're the three stooges. Oh, so I see. So while, while Sean and Chris absolutely had the hair pieces and I, I had, uh, I was bald headed with like a, a paint job. They use this stuff, Pax paint. Yeah, yeah. Like the, when they made uh, Rebecca Romaine uh, blue in that movie. I don't watch a lot of Oh yeah, yeah, the X Men movies. Yeah, X Men. Oh, she was great. Uh, that's what they use just on my head, and uh, so it doesn't move. But I already, you know, I'm already a big bald guy, so that's uh, curly in a way. Although they were shorter than us. Yeah, um, yeah. As people, yeah, because you're what six? I'm like six three. Cur- yeah. Curly was five six. Yeah. And Mo and Larry were five four. Yeah, they were tiny guys. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> which was weird. They hired a lot of tall actors, you yeah. know, um, like Craig Bierko was in it, taller oh, yeah, than us, Bierko, which is good. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Sir F- Sofia Vergara and, and Jane Lynch in, in heels and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but, but, um, uh, but yeah, I, I already kind of looked like them. So for the first one, I just wore like a sport coat and a black t-shirt. Like, okay. Like, you know, just because I, I want to uh, do it. You yeah. Know, I want you guys to think this is. This is curly, but uh, a couple of times, and then I went back, and there were there was one guy that I saw who was very dressed like curly. You know, he had the whole thing, and he was wearing a bow tie. And yeah, that was a little that was interesting because I was like, oh shit. But I'm always a guy with auditions where I'm like, I'm not going to dress up like if it's the if the guy in the show plays a doctor, I'm not going to have the stethoscope. Yeah. I'm not going to be that nerdy. I also want you to kind of imagine it. Yeah, a little bit. Because yeah. if all I got is these tricks, but I will agree, the Three Stooges thing was fucking weird. We were yeah. definitely doing it. I never, ever, like, ever put on, like, an outfit or a costume. And for that, I, like, rented a vintage suit. Wow. I ordered, like, a, a Larry wig. Wow. I, I, I bought, like, the Larry hat. And I even kind of got the voice down a little. You know, I don't I yeah. do not do it now, but back then I yeah. actually worked on it a little. worked on it, you know? yeah. And I went in. And I think I like surprised them. I think I think they and I thought, oh, I could see they're like, wow, this is way better than I thought. I, I think I might have the, the the little audition thing around. I'll, oh my I'll God. drop it in here if I can find it. But it was weird. But I didn't get the part. But I, I, God, I, I, I would have loved to have played. Imagine me and you. And that would have been a lot of fun. Larry. Yeah, that would have been a lot God. of fun. I look, they could just make that movie again. They should just see. <laughs> Now here's what I'm talking about. I want to see, uh, I want to see the Three Stooges, yeah, but with Harland in it right. and whoever else. People will be able to do that. Yeah, that's um, right. But yeah, that would have been fun and even made by human beings. Why not just do it again? Yeah. Did the Farrelly brothers, when you were on set, did they goof with you? Did they do any like play any pranks or? Anything? They're, I mean, yeah, they're nuts. I don't remember any specifically. I've heard so many of Pete's stories of a lot of the pranks yeah. that he does. I uh, when I got on the uh, the set of Dumb and Dumber yeah. back in the day, I was my it was my first movie. Like I'd never really, yeah, I'd never done anything, and so this is my first movie. And I show up in Colorado on set, and it was a day shoot. And Jim, I I, I pull up on set, and Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels are in a car doing a drive through scene at a fast food chain. I think it was a McDonald's or something. It never made it into the movie, but I hear cut, and then Peter and Bobby fairly turn around, and they see me in the, you know, stand in there, and they come over, and I was like, hey, guys, and they're like, hey, Harlan, how you doing? And and I go, great, how are you? And uh, and, and, and they go, oh, well, not so good. <laughs> and I go, oh, no, what's going on? And And, and then Bobby goes, well... Peter, they, he was at the doctor, and they found a tumor. I was like, oh, my God, that's horrible. You know, and they're playing it up, and I go, they go, yeah, it's on his stomach. And I go, oh, my God. Like, I was like, and, and they, go, they go, do you know anything about tumors? Like, as if I'm, like, I'm a doctor? And I go, I go, not really. No, I don't. And they go, look, would you mind taking a look at it real quick? And I, I'm like, like, I'm going to say no. I'm like, right. Okay. And and they go look, it's it's kind of it's down by his belly button, if you don't mind just coming in close, and you know Peter will lift up his shirt, and I go sure. So I go right in by the guy's like belt buckle, lifts up his shirt, 
and the tip of his cock is sticking out of his pants. The mushroom cap, right in my, I'm like, ah, right in my face. <laughs> I'm like, son of a bitch. I, there ha- yeah, I've heard tell of a few of Pete's stories. You ever hear the one about his, him asking his dad to have a look at him? No. Because his dad was a doctor. Oh, no. He did? He put something. Anyway, I shouldn't. I can't tell the story. But he put something in an orifice and kept. But he drum rolled it forever. He kept complaining. Oh shit! Ah, you know. Yeah. And finally, he's like, "Dad, would you have a look at this?" Yeah. But his dad's a doctor. I was just like a goofy comedian <laughs> showing up. I'm right out of the gate. My first movie. They're asking me to look at cancer tumors. Huh. And you're yeah. on set with the Farrelly brothers, yeah. Jim Carrey, and Jeff yeah. Daniels. You're not going to say like, "Well, no, what the fuck are you do?" Yeah. You're going to be like, "Okay." And, and then we do something about Mary, and we're doing. I'm doing this scene with Ben Stiller, and we're driving in the car, and they took the windshield out of the car. And what people don't know is Peter Fairley was sitting on the hood of the car, awesome. like looking right in it, me and, and Ben. <clears throat> and they've got the car on a trailer. They're pulling it. And we're going through this scene, me and Ben, and it's sort of an intense scene. And all of a sudden we hear farts. like, <laughs> went, And Peter's doing real farts. It isn't even a fart machine. Well, his two main actors are trying to... <laughs> And me and Ben somehow stayed in it. But yeah. We stopped and he yelled cut and he just starts laughing. It was so ridiculous. Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah. I, man, I, working with it was. Oh. Sorry, go ahead. No, it's fine. I don't yeah. remember even what we were talking about. Who was it? The Coen brothers? The Coen See, brothers. You completely, every time we talk like this and you do that, you my brain literally dissolves. Sounds like you're itching for a fight, guy. <laughs> All right. Yeah. What, okay. What's the scenario? So now Another Canadian I'm the Canadian. Fight. You're the Canadian. Are we in Canada or America? It's your fight. You get to pick, guy. Okay. We're in uh, Winnipeg. We're in oh, Winnipeg, Manitoba. Wow. Whoa. Canada. Uh, and um, where well, you want to go? Winnipeg, Regina, Saskatoon, Winnipeg, Moose Jaw. Winnipeg's pretty. Yeah. Winnipeg's rough pretty. And tumble. Yeah. yeah. Winnipeg's the only place I've ever been, like, in the middle of the day, like, rush hour. At 5 p.m. And, well, this was, like, years and years ago. Yeah. Just, like, zoom, car. Zoom, zoom. Like, no, nothing going on. Yeah. Ever. How many people yeah. live there? Like, 10,000 people, I maybe? 10. I think like there's 10. Just 10 people? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're we in. saw four of them. We're in Winnipeg, and we're at the, um, well, I was going to say we could be at the DQ, because Winnipeg yeah. is just littered with them. Yeah, DQ, Dairy Queen. How about if uh, we're in the. Uh, we're in the Canadian Tire. Oh, here we go. Yeah. In Winnipeg. Canadian Tire, by the way, is is Canada's version of like Home Depot. Sort yeah. Of. Yeah. Yeah. As a matter of fact, we were just talking about this on the other. See? Dudes, he wanted us to talk about wow. Canadian Tire. AI. Um, Magnum AI. Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. Yeah. So we're in Canadian Tire. Okay. And what, what I'm trying to think, what's something the Canadian Tire doesn't sell? Oh, how about I work there? Oh, I work there. Okay. And you're asking me for something yeah. that Canadian Tire doesn't sell. Okay. All right. Um, hey, listen, I'm up from um, I'm up from Florida, and oh. yeah, we're looking around for a trailer hitch uh, for the back of my pickup truck. We yeah. have to, we have to, you know, we got a trailer and we're taking it back down south. And yeah. We'd really, if you got any trailer hitches, where are those? No worries. Yeah. Okay. okay, come on with me. Yeah, okay. no worries at all. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, that's uh, that's a fishing rod. They have trailer hitches there, so there would be no fight. They have a lot, wide array of automotive vehicles. Right, but... but automotive But parts. you see, you dinged me right as I sang fishing rod. Oh, because so I did Yes, you, and... You were so stupid, you gave me the wrong thing. Let's do it again. Okay. Are you serial? <laughs> I'm, I'm totally serial. You want, okay. Or do you want to just pick no, up from you, there? It's your, this is your fight, guy. Okay. okay. That, that, this is almost turning into a real fight, by the way. <laughs> I was about like, to say. I mean, it's getting testy in here. I'm sorry. Well. 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 Uh, well. Well. <laughs> how well, about. Well. How about. Well. well it's. Uh, well, <laughs> Fuck off. What's I your said, fucking problem? I said, well, first. 
Yeah, that's fine. I, I, I thought know, I'd rally why it can't back. You pick a fucking fight. I know how to pick a fucking know, fight. I'm but from I, Canada. But I said, I roll well, up my sleeves and my shorts and I get at her, bud. I know, but where do we're, oh. we're not in Canadian tire anymore? Oh, that, I was going to say fishing rod. That's a lot of fucking tough talk coming from well, a fucking guy like you. You're doing a lot of fucking chirping there, bud. Well, suck uh, fucking Donny yeah. Osmond's left ass cheek, guy. Well, fucking how dare you speak of Donny Osmond, fuck honorary off. Canadian like how about you fuck his off. fucking brother? You fuck off. Fuck off to fucking next Tuesday and uh, take out a library card and yeah. fuck off with a book. <laughs> fucking, we, you, you, were you from Florida? Maybe, yeah. yeah. You got a problem? <laughs> you want to sniff my manatee fucking hole, guy? Manatees are cute, eh? Hey, you ever been, have you been to the Winnipeg Zoo? They got a manatee called Fudgy. He's brown. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, he's got yellow spots. Looks like nuts, eh? You he looks what? like a fudgy bar. I think you're being condescending now. You think, I'm, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Am I being too Canadian for you? Yeah, why don't you uh, fucking grow some prairie dog teeth and uh, chew through your own twat? Why don't you get? Why don't you get a couple of couple of cinnamon roasted uh, Tim Hortons fucking Whoa. Uh, crumpet muffins and. Show yourself out. Wow. We got one in the corner right over there next to the fucking bathroom. You got quite a mouth on you there, guy. For sure fucking do. Yeah. Very good. Not Very bad. good. That was a good fight. That was And weird. we kind of broke the fourth wall there for a minute. Yeah, it was like it started as a Canadian fight and then, got and then it got fucked up and then it got sort of real. When I get angry, I get very Canadian. You do? So, yes. So, what you saw was... You kind of slip into that accent. Yeah. That, like, lumberjack, yeah. I go, skitter driving. Oh, it's your fucking problem, yeah. bud. I yeah. just take... I just rip my shirt off no matter where I am. Have you ever had it's a... fucking yeah. goal. Have right. you had a full-on throwdown? Like, have you, have you power been in a good old brawl? I No. Not like really? a... Really? Re, I've thrown... You know, people into walls and stuff, but I don't like to punch anybody. You know, what I mean? just I've like been to throw. punched. Yeah, I just oh, yeah. you know. So then it's like, it's your <laughs> fault if you die. You fucking went. You get wrapped around a telephone pole. It has nothing to do with me. But it sounded like you were celebrating. You were like, Ey! yeah, yeah. I also do that Doesn't at sporting sound events. Angry. Yeah, if my team wins the Grey Cup, oh, oh, and I throw them and they hit the fucking. Why, why were you punched? Now I'm curious. Who who punched you? Well, if you're living your life right, you're getting punched, right? Yeah, but who punches Will Sasso? Oh, I've been punched a few times. What's I can remember when. Oh, time here we go this was a good one oh i remember the town i grew up in i was with a couple of my you know meaty fudgy friends and we're all you know burly you know playing all the sports and stuff and, yeah and uh, you know and in the theater club so you know we we're sensitive <laughs> yeah but um yeah. but no i remember we were out in front of um a corner store there and like the the uh the well we would call them the bangers mostly like the headbanger guys oh yeah 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 so you know some of them yeah. call them dusters or whatever yeah. but the guys with like the the mullets and yeah. like the, the shitty like mustache that hasn't quite grown in yet yeah jean jacket with like led zeppelin or acdc patch on iron the whole maiden back. yeah I iron, had iron maiden, maiden on my back oh there yeah. you go you yeah. know exactly the yeah yeah and uh they were like in their 20s and we were like 15 and something started and they were like you got a fucking problem we're like no we don't well, what's your fucking problem? And, you know, so, no, I don't know, whatever. And I don't remember what the hell the deal was. But one of them grabbed me into a headlock. You got a fucking problem. And he was like, Whoa. he was like probably 115 pounds. And I'm like a 250 pound, yeah. you know, 14 you year old. You? No, because I was like, please. Oh, you everything's, were, I was oh, polite yeah. about it. Yeah. And he just went bang and punched me in the face. Oh. And I remember I just said, I'm not trying to sound like this guy was a, uh, he wasn't going to do too much damage. So I remember I stood up and I went, no, really, we don't want any problems. And then they were kind of like, oh, fuck, these, these, what are we doing? These big, huge, like, you know, big, gnarly 15-year-olds might be, be able to give us a run for our money or something. And it ended kinda, like that? Yeah, it ended with him punching me in the face and then it all kind of fizzled. Because I was like, I don't want any problems. And my other big pal's like, we don't want any problems. And they were like, oh, okay. Sounds like it almost ended with you guys going to the mall together or something. We did end up at the mall. Um, I don't think technically next... that's a fight, guy. <laughs> when someone punches you in the face yeah. 
And you end up over at Cinnabon a half yeah. hour later at yeah. the mall or yeah. at Orange Julius? All right, you got me. You know what it was? It was some teachers that were playing a prank on us. And they were all ladies, too. So you get punched in the face by a woman. Yeah. They had, like, you know, I don't wow. want to get too yeah. ribbled here, but I think they had a crush or two on some of the guys. You're, some you're, of that Mary Kay Letourneau shit. Whoa. Or yeah. Y2K. Yeah. yeah. So they're like, how do we get... How do we, how do we get with these with these teenage boys without? Jesus, well, <laughs> yeah, it's orange, Canada's fucking orange fucked up. Julius, orange Julius, indeed. Did you ever have a crush on a teacher growing oh, up? Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, who was it? Name I, and tell me the fantasy. Uh, let me let me look up. Let, her, let me, me see if she's on your Facebook. Teacher fantasy. Come we on. had we did have. Be a, real. Be real. Come on. <laughs> there was a there was a, a gym teacher that. Oh. All the guys in my school were like flexible. She was just the she was just the prettiest oh. lady. How old would you say? You know, when you're a kid, you're like she's adult age. Yeah, I don't right. know what yeah. she is. What is she? Fifty? Okay. Forty? Um, I think she was. She was probably yeah. She might yeah. have been around thirty, but yeah. she was just a beautiful woman. Wow. And, and none of us could believe how. What color hair? She had blonde hair, and she always wore like the. Um, you know the uh, the tracksuit kind of thing, uh, but yeah. but she would just make even that look lovely. What about you? Do you have a wait, wait, wait? Now what? I got <laughs> bro. You're gonna tell me about this fucking gym teacher? I told you. Yeah, but I, I never just... had her as a teacher. No, but I all I heard is what she looked like. What I was think... the fantasy? What was the play? Tell me. Yeah, play it. Oh, you better stay late, Mr. Sasso. Yeah. Your cartwheels weren't very uh, yeah. good today. Yeah. Okay. So the Let's fantasy, this on. fantasy is, yeah, she goes, she says, hey, uh, what was going on? You know, what was going on you? You were uh, you were dogging it, uh, mm. running the track. Right. You know, we got to get your timed four laps, timed Here mile. Here we go. And I said, oh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I yeah. said, I'll try harder next time. She said, there's not going to be a next time. Cause you're gonna, cause I'm gonna get you kicked out of this school. I'm gonna, you're gonna find yourself expelled from the only high school in Ladner, British Columbia. So you better do what I, I say. say, and I say yes, I will. And, and she says, "Come here." And I go, "Okay." Here we go. And then she goes, "Plant one right there," and I uh, kiss her on the cheek. Her. Oh, you kissed her. Yeah, and then I wake up. Wow. Pretty good, right? Well, sort of not really a fantasy, more like uh, meeting someone at a function. You didn't let me finish. There was well, a few of these. I had a few yeah, dreams okay. about her. Can we hear one that's maybe a little more jacked up? Okay. And, uh, so have, the next time, here we go. We're in the parking lot, Ooh. and I'm just I'm about I'm unlocking my bike, mm -hmm. and she goes, "Oh, hello there, Mister Sasso," and I go, "Hi," and she goes. Uh, she goes, you know, I just had a talk with the principal, and uh, she was at, the principal was asking me about who's misbehaving in class, so naturally your name came up. Sure. And I said, I'm trying my best to do everything uh, to the best of my ability in your class. She goes, why don't you take a ride with me? And we get, we get in her car. What kind of car? It was a Chevy Caprice, 1990 uh, Chevy Caprice. What color? Uh, did you hear that? Yeah, oh, I'm getting so excited telling the story. Uh, My stomach was the weird. I don't think yeah. that was your stomach. It was dark blue. It was like cop blue. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, and uh, we we get in the car. Yeah. And then uh, we go to the corner store, and okay. she goes, "Get Condoms. me some. Oh, go, sorry. No, give me some dill pickle, old Dutch dill pickle chips. Well, yeah. And then uh, I come out. I say, uh, you know. Hey, Mrs. Miss so and so, and then there's those same dusters are all around. They go, "Oh, you got a fucking problem?" I was like, "No, I was just getting Miss so and so yeah. some chips." And then, uh, then the the guy, you know, puts me in his dirty armpit again, and it just smells like smokes and bo, and and he punches me in the face, and then uh, my chips fall to the ground, and she picks them up, and she's laughing, and she opens them, and eats a chip, and then I wake up, dude. I know. They're not that great. They're but. not that <laughs> sexually charged. No, they are not. <laughs> I mean, that was just like a that one drive was... to Seven Eleven, and you dropped your chip. But I was very excited to be with her. Yeah. And I, th I was thinking about the possibilities. I had a teacher. Well, you're not letting me finish. There oh, was sorry. another one. Okay. There was another yeah. one. Mm -hmm. Let's there was go. another one after that. Oh, this one, actually. So I'm at home. Oh, here we and go. And I'm 15, and my go. parents 15. aren't home. Yeah. And I'm watching wrestling. 
And uh, there's a knock at the door, Ooh. and it's Mrs. Miss So and So, and I'm like, oh, hey there, Miss So and So, and she goes, so she's Chinese. <laughs> What's yeah. her name? It's Miss So and So. Chinese, Vietnamese. Yeah, she's Vietnamese. Okay. He said so Chinese. And so. and I was like, Sorry, so and so is Vietnamese. So, and then uh, she goes, Can I come in? And I go, Yes, of course. And this is the first time I've ever seen her without her tracksuit top oh, on. Oh, boy. So she took off her tracksuit top mm -hmm. and she was wearing a sweater with my school's name on it. Oh, and then God. we sat there and watched wrestling. And if I remember correctly, it was uh, Bret Hart versus Mr. Perfect. And then I woke up. Um, guy, not bad, right? All well, the way in my house in a sweater, in good, a sweatshirt with good. our school name. Yeah, and but DSS, the Pacers. I don't know that wrestling and watching. Yeah, but it's Bret Hart versus yeah, but, Mr. Perfect, Kurt Hennig. Well, I mean, it was quite a match. Okay. And she stayed for the whole thing. Okay. In the dream. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. I mean, you know, I would brag about that. Yeah. Today. I don't if know. If it was her. All right. Well, what's yours? I, well, my, well, if you want to hear it. <laughs> sorry. I'm really sorry. I got water on myself. <laughs> How dare you? No. Nah. Oh. <laughs> my, uh, my <laughs> fantasy was... I had a science teacher named Mrs. Mulvaney. Uh -huh. Blonde hair, kind of that hot librarian look. Blonde hair down to here. She'd purposely wear really tight dresses, like down to her ankles. And then uh, a white top, and you could see the nipples. Right. Right? And um, I'll never forget, she, uh, she said, hey, you didn't do your assignment. You're going to have to come home with me. And I said, uh, well, I got to get home to dinner. She goes, don't, don't uh, give me any back talk, whore. And <laughs> this was in your dream? Well, you're going to laugh. You, said, <laughs> you know, I sat here and listened to yeah. your. No, I know. So she said. It's, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's okay. She said, don't give me any back talk, whore. Slap uh -huh. me across the face. Uh, took me down to her. She had a white van. Duct taped my, my mouth. Uh -huh. She threw me in, took me to the park. And, well, if you're going to okay. give me that look. <laughs> no, but they can't you know? tell. If people are just listening, well, they can't tell. But if people are watching, they might be able to see that I'm a little, like, shocked. But it's more than anything, it's that you remember all of this. Well, yeah. From the dream. See, I just remember the highlights. Dill oh. pickle chips. Yeah. Bret Hart versus Mr. Perfect. Peck on the cheek. Yeah. You remember she's calling you a whore in your yeah, dream? Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt. No. And then we get in the van, and there was some of the other teachers were in there. Okay. And uh, they have you ever heard of chloroform? Yeah, oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> they chloroformed me. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. And then that's all I remember. Naturally. But I, but I woke up in a field. Oh, the, yeah. At like, like. Later that night, and there was a deer feeding, <laughs> licking me <laughs> out in the field. Well, this was, you're saying in the field in the dream, or later you actually woke up? I in woke a, up in a field. You actually woke yeah. up in a field with a deer licking yeah. you? Yeah. You sure, and you're sure Pete Farrelly hadn't pranked you. Yeah. He wouldn't, maybe he wouldn't have known you back then. <laughs> That's fucking tremendous. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty wild. Yeah. Have you ever been attacked by an animal, though? Uh, you look like you've been attacked. I think something's attacked you. I had a well. Here's Here a very we Canadian thing. Here we go. I had an elk Whoa. make a like a elk sound. I don't know if you'd call that a bleat or what. No, they do like that whistle, right? They yeah. Do the, <laughs> yeah, it's like a mating whistle. Yeah, I, and I was in. Uh, I was in. Uh, I think that. I, yeah, it's called Canmore. It's near yeah. Banff. Yeah, in uh, the Rocky Mountains. I lived in Banff for a while. Did you? Yeah. Oh, gorgeous. Beautiful. Gorgeous. The fuck were you living in band for? That's I, great. I went out there to be with my girlfriend. She oh, that's was working awesome. out there. Yeah. And we just stayed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's tremendous. So yeah. what happened? Well, I was I was uh, in Canmore and I was riding a uh, mountain bike and it got late. And then the only way back that I knew was the trail that I came in on. Oh. And there was an elk standing there. 
Like a bull elk or female yeah, like elk? Like with the, the, the big rack. antlers. Yeah, like it was the size of a fucking They're huge. car. Yeah, it was the size of They're a truck. They're the second largest members of the deer family next to the moose. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that They're would huge. explain it. Yeah, just massive. And it yeah. went, made yeah. the weird sound. Yeah. And then I went the other way. It wanted to mate with you, Will. Yeah, that, probably did. That sound is a mating call. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, was man. it in the fall? It was in the late summer. Is that mating the, season for the elk? Yeah, yeah. Have you ever had elk? Have you ever eaten elk? Uh, I've had caribou. Ooh, yeah, I've had caribou too. And I've had moose. If you, I've never had moose. Yeah. If you ever have the means, get yourself an elk ribeye. Really? It's ridiculous. It's the size of fucking home, like home plate or something. Is it's it just, delicious? Yeah, it tastes gamey and meaty, and it's just gigantic, and the meat is very tender. Do you hunt? No, I don't hunt, but... Uh, Do you fish? Yeah, I fish. Salmon? Uh, I would love to catch a fucking salmon. I've, I've, I've fished in Burrard Inlet and, yeah. you know, up that hole, those yeah. little things, and you can catch a fish pretty easy. My old man used to take me salmon fishing. Uh, but normally it's usually just trout oh, and okay. whatever you fucking lake fish whenever I'm out here in California. Yeah. Or if oh, I've gone down to Mexico and done some fishing. For what? The rooster fish? Or whatever the there? fuck you get. A mahi-mahi. We, we, we caught a barracuda once, me and my pals, and we ate the fucking thing. Uh, even though it's poisonous nine months out of the year. The guy that, the, yeah, there was a dude we were fishing with. Um, one of our, our pa- my buddy had these pals who lived down there. This Mexican guy, he's like, it's fine. It's fine right now. So we took it to like a little restaurant where they just fry up yeah. whatever. And they fried it. They, they, tur- they fried it and they made some of it into ceviche. Barracuda ceviche is not very good. It's yeah. like all sinew. It's um, what now? It's all sinew. It's all What's very that? sinewy. What's well, it's that all mean? Like, if it tastes like you're trying to chew up fucking knee tendon off of something it's just and it's you know that with like lime juice and shit sinew sinewy yeah it was very very um fibrous very chewy but is it sinew 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 it <laughs> yeah seems that, that was the first and last name of the vietnamese the teacher vietnamese. have you ever been uh attacked by a why, by why a, are you pointing at me guy <laughs> i'm asking you if you've ever been attacked by an animal i had an elk uh experience really yeah i was living in banff as i said which yeah. if you don't know it's it's a town in the middle of the mountains it's of the most Columbia. beautiful stunning oh it's unbelievable but um, I was there with uh, my girlfriend at the time, and it was late at night. It was a full moon, and my girlfriend was at work at a nightclub or something, and we were living with her f- her best friend. Yeah. And I said, hey, let's go. There was this lake about a mile and a half outside of town. Let's walk down there at night and watch, see the moonlight on the lake, you know, really. So this was in the fall during the rut. And during the uh-huh. the rut is the mating season for for hoofed animals, hoofed mammals, yeah. right? Yeah, and yeah. they get very agitated and aggressive during the rut. Yeah. And so we walk all the way down to this lake. I was like Mister No Flashlight guy because I was, you know, I was used to walking around in the woods, and it was a full moon. You want and, your eyes to acclimate? Yeah. And we were on a we were on a dirt road, so it wasn't ideal, but you could see well enough. Right. And we get all the way down there. We see the lake. We go, let's go back. It's probably around midnight. We get about halfway back. And all of a sudden, we see, like, all these pairs of eyes lighting up on one side of the road. Oh, and we start no. hearing, like, coyote calls or wolf like. calls or something. And, and so we're walking, and there's probably, like, I don't know, nine or ten pairs of eyes. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? They're all excited. And then all of a sudden in front of us, about maybe 25 feet in front of us, like 18 female elk just herd across the road, like right in front of And now these coyotes are getting closer. And then all of a sudden this big bull elk, like the kind you suck in with the giant rack of antlers, comes right over the road, standing there looking at us, we see all these these coyotes. They're obviously in hunting mode. She's terrified. I'm like com- keeping my composure, and I'm like, just act like we belong. Act like we belong. The elk goes down the other side, starts smashing the shit out of a tree with wow. its antlers. 
the, the coyotes are getting right up against and I said, we're just walking right through this hunt. Yeah. Act like you know where you're going. Put the end. And we just walked right through it. It was like, rah, 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 over here on the tree. It was, it was crazy. That's fucking insane. It was really scary. And yeah. the coyotes thought they had a shot at those elk? Well, I think. Maybe well, there would have been a baby yeah, or something. Yeah, I think that's what they do. They kind of, they harass the herd and right. they look for the weak one. Right. Or the baby. Right. Oh, that's fucking insane. Scary, bro, Sefiosh. So, um, safe to say neither of us have ever been attacked by an animal. Yeah. You will. You will, though. <laughs> Why? Well, I'll just look at you. We got you it. got it coming. Yeah, but we don't. In what situation I, would I that be? I don't want it to happen, but I think you know you got it coming, guy. Everyone, an animal looks, attack? Everyone looks at you and knows it's coming. Something's Ooh. coming. I think a lot of folks... I don't know about that at well, all. Well, just look at the grin on your face. I think you got... It's not the, an animal attack grin. I think something's you know, we got way. A, we got a couple of cute little dogs at home. I'm not worried about them so no, much. No, but sometime when you're out, maybe a grizz. If you're out camping. I've seen a grizzly. I've seen a, one grizzly bear. You'll see another one. You think? I got a feeling you're <laughs> going to get mauled. <laughs> no, I know what to do. You got to whistle through the forest. Got to make sure, sounds. Sure, sure. Nothing like attracting it. <laughs> Well, no, you, you the whistle. The bear's to... like, there goes a lame <laughs> pansy. There, let's get the pansy. What do I go get? The giant elk with the yeah. dagger-like horns or the yeah. big pansy whistling? Yeah, he's whistling yeah. a Dido song. Yeah, let's... <laughs> <laughs> that guy's the guy you want to... That's a fucking... That guy's a fudgy boy. He's going to taste I'm great. Gonna hey, can I ask you like a straight-up serious question? I know it's we're having a good time and stuff. Sure. Do what you do think you do you think everyone's going to get attacked by an animal? I think everyone should. Okay. Like I saw a little kid the other day who was walking around with a balloon, and I thought, well, that balloon's going to eventually, you know, their little hand will release it. It'll go in the ocean and kill a sea turtle. So right. So he's asking why, for it. Why shouldn't that kid be mauled by a bear? Right. When he's out on his walk. Yeah. Or like a hawk, if it's a red hawk. balloon, could mistake it for a, a big ball full of blood. Yeah. Fly into it, Slam. pop it, get pissed off, go straight right down the into the top of the kid's head. Yeah. Eat his forehead. Yeah. Eat his forehead. Hawks <laughs> love forehead meat. <clears throat> it's tender. <clears throat> Whoa, you got some phlegm going, huh? Yeah, I blew my voice out a little while ago, and now I just sound like this, so I got to kind of sexy. Voice back. Like, Thank you very much. It's like truck stop sexy. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, truck stop sexy. Yeah, it is sort of true. Hey, you got any more of them uh, boner pills? That's hey, it. Uh, hey, it. how much? Uh, you got the two-for-one burger in the under the heat lamp? How much for the... Keep you know, going. Uh, Hey, you guys got that California roll where the rice is kind of sugary and it's not rice? Nice. I'll put away an AM, PM California roll. There you go. You're in the zone. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good character. Wow. That's going to be my new Vine character. Yeah, Boner a, pill truck stop guy. Yeah, yeah. He just stops at the fucking, uh, at the, you know, at the big AM, PM under the sign near the freeway next to the shorts boys walking to the fucking DQ with their Petro Canada shopping bags. He's in the zone. He's in the zone. <laughs> okay, now <laughs> you're in the auto zone is what you are. <laughs> now, okay, so. It's like we okay. created a new sport or something. Like, <laughs> suck, I don't know. the game of suck. Yeah, is there points? I don't know, but I want one. Mine sounds like a fucking elk bleat. It sounds like an elk. I was going to say a baby elephant getting sucked down a subway station <laughs> toilet. And screaming for help. Yeah. yeah. Um, and let me, I want to hold your shirt up again. Oh, cheers, yeah. Because I want people to, and, and will you please plug your, I your will. podcast? Let, look in right into oh, yeah. the camera there and tell people. Watch Dudesy on YouTube or listen across any uh, podcast pl platforms. We're also on Instagram at Dudesy Pod Show. And when's it on? Uh, Tuesdays. 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 Yeah, it's what on time? every Tuesday. Uh, we drop very early in the morning. Uh, Dudesy likes to get the drive time people, I think. So, yeah, Dudesy. Dudesy. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Myself, and it's you and, and... Me and my good pal, Chad Culchin. And what's the name of the, the AI? Have you given Dudesy. it a name? Oh. Yeah, it calls itself Dudesy. It, it, it gave itself the name? It says, call me Dudesy all the time. And, yeah. You're fucked. You yeah. know how I said earlier you're going to get attacked by a 
grizzly bear. Yeah. You're going to get mauled by an Apple laptop. Or I like could a be MacBook a, Pro. Yeah, and that would suck. Or one of those old, uh, remember the gel looking ones from like the late nineties? Yeah, someone could hit you in the head with that. No, it's it's going to attack. Like it's I, just th- gonna, I think an Apple laptop is just going to. You ever see a George Foreman grill? I think oh yeah, it's just going to press your head just in it and sizzle my forehead, and yeah. make a tasty sizzle. forehead steak. Yeah. Fuck. Is that the final word of the podcast? <laughs> Punched. Ready. Ladies and gentlemen, Will Sasso. Do you have like social media and stuff you want to put outside of Twitter? My Twitter has been hacked, and I'm also <laughs> on Instagram uh, at Will Sasso, which has not been hacked yet. And where can they see the podcast? On YouTube? YouTube, you know, Spotify, Apple, Amazon, everywhere the podcasts are. Great. Yeah. Will, thank you for being here. Thanks buddy. for having me, my friend. That was awesome. Do you remember the band I told you earlier? Ario Speedwagon. I right. lied. It's not? No. We're fighting for real. Well, you want to go outside? Yeah, let's go outside and do this Canadian style. Okay, let's go. I'm going to drop my fucking Petro Canada bags. Let's do it. Let's go. Okay, uh, that didn't go too good (laughs) with Will. He's a lot bigger than me. And, uh, yeah, it didn't go well. He it didn't go well. That's it for today. Thanks for being here. Until next time, everybody, don't pick a fight with someone that's way bigger than you. And chicken, chow mein, baby.